What's going on everyone? Hello, welcome to a vlog. What's going on? Today I'm in Brighton because I'm getting a tattoo of the main man Gully. So let's just go there. My camera's fogging up, it's so cold. Ooh, a bit windy, so yeah. I'm in Brighton. Well, I'm actually in Hove. Brighton Hove, same place, isn't it? I mean, you guys are going to see first what it is. Actually, you're not. Maybe Instagram will we'll see how excited I get if I post it or not. Yeah, we're going to go in there. Same design, getting one. Just the one today, but I'm hoping maybe we'll have a bit of time at the end and I can get an extra one, but I haven't got any kind of ideas for a second one yet. So it might be a little spur of the moment one. So this is what I'm getting right here. It's like a classic pin-up with a modern twist. That's the goal. So it's like a 1950s pin-up girl. But we tried to make it modern, so like she's holding a bag. And after this, I'll show you where it's going. So that's where it's going on my arm. I'm bleeding. I cut myself when I had to shave my hair off. But yeah, that's where it's going to go on my arm. It'll look a lot better than this, but it's just, yeah, there it is. Too far being done, and it's not focus. But yeah, this is where it is. It's happening now. I'm in the car. I'm in my mom's car. Boom, boom. You don't remember that? I just had, I just did something, but you guys definitely didn't want to come there because it's incredibly boring. I just had a meeting with my accountants. How exciting. I'm officially finished. And now I am off to go and see the one, the only, the legend, Dr. Simon, my dentist. I have had Invisalign and composite bonding on my teeth. And my man, Dr. Simon, was the one to do it at Dr. Richard's clinic. So I'm going there now for a little checkup to make sure I'm happy with everything and how it all looks. And he's going to make sure that I'm being good and, uh, and brushing my teeth probably and things like that. You know, the standards. I'm probably going to go there, chat to him, get him to explain to all of you. And then, who knows? Who knows where the world's going to take me? We just had a little polish up of my teeth to make them look back extra bit perfect. And I know I've explained to you kind of what I went through and what we've done with my teeth, but I mean, there's none other than of a professional. <laughs> I'm Dr. Simon, nice to meet you all. Um, I met Jack quite a few months ago now, about six months ago, and Jack was complaining that he thought his teeth were sticking out slightly, and he was unhappy with quite a lot of his crowding. So if yeah. you look at the image on our screen, you can see how Jack's teeth, if we zoom in a little bit closer, the front teeth were sticking out. Horrible. If we go to the image on the bottom, we can see how the bottom teeth were quite crowded. We didn't like that, did we, Jack? No, not a fan. Um, it would be a really good idea to straighten them first. Um, using Invisalign, what we did was over a six month period, we straightened Jack's teeth. But not only did we straighten the teeth, we fixed Jack's bite. So using the Invisalign to straighten his teeth, we put the teeth into the correct position. And um, when the teeth are in the correct position, it's a healthier bite. This is going to mean that his teeth in the future won't chip and will be healthy for the long term. So we widen them and then we did a procedure at the end called composite bonding. Composite bonding is where we add a white filling just to the edges of the teeth to neaten them up, to make them whiter, a better shape and to make them a little bit more full. And as you can see from Jack's fingers now, <laughs> they're looking pretty, they're awesome. looking pretty good. Have a look they are looking pretty good. I'm a bit jealous now, so I'm actually going to start my design. Yeah, you're yeah, starting, you're starting yeah. next, right? Yeah, I was the guinea. I was the guinea pig. You were the guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> Put me through it to make Although sure it worked. I my own then. Oh yeah, God. Maybe you could do it. What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon I can give it a go. We'll fly you in. Yeah, I can be a bit of inspiration. You know, have some pictures of me on the wall or something yeah. for the dentist. Don't tell See, we'll get it done. but yeah. What were the Invisalign? How did you like get used to the Invisalign? What was that like? It's pretty easy. I mean, you just wear it 
22 hours a day. Did Lily, did anyone, anyone notice? Anyone, you know, friends, family? Did no, I'd always go in places and I would, it would take me to say that I've got Invisalign in. I had about a day where it felt a bit weird and then after that it felt normal. Mm -hmm. You just got to make sure you keep on washing them because <laughs> keep them can get pretty gross otherwise. Yeah, and with just... the composites, you weren't sure what to expect at the start. Yeah, so the composite, I'd finished Invisalign, finished straightening my teeth and whitening and they looked, I was pretty happy with how they looked. So then when I thought about getting the, the composite bonding, I was a bit... Oh, you can see how on the edges they were quite chipped. Yeah. And quite uneven. So after the Invisalign, even though the teeth were straight, and we can see how the teeth are yeah, straight. Yeah, they weren't even. Because they were uneven, we use the composite over the teeth, um, and we do this without any drilling, so it's completely safe for the yeah. teeth. Um, and that will just improve the shape, the length, it just gives them that nice X factor. Yeah, <laughs> makes them the nice shape that they are. So absolute 10 out of 10. We're yeah. super happy, aren't we? Happy are we? Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm currently in the arse end of nowhere. This big old building. And we're filming something for Connor. I'm with Andy, and we're filming like a YouTube, you know, one of his normal YouTube kind of videos, but it's miles away. Well, that's not that far, it's about an hour away. But yeah, we're here now, gonna go and film it, gotta go upstairs. It's for his new single, that comes out on Friday. It's gonna be a blast. And then we have to get in the Tower of Terror, pretty much. Lovely, this is a nice place. I feel a bit bad. Gone. Squeeze it in. Tower so this is the room. This is where we're filming. Well, we're not going to be filming this way, obviously. Maybe filming there. That's it. Yep, all this way for that. So there we go. And the Lord said, "Let there be light." Changing the light, changing the colour of the light. By the time this goes out, it might be out. I don't know. If it's not, probably shouldn't have said that. Might be beeped out. Might not be. <laughs> another day of filming but today we are using my friends once again we're not with Connor I'm with Andy we're filming for Josh and Archie Josh and Archie are on the comeback here we go so yeah we're here just getting all the kit out we're gonna film for like I said we're gonna film for Josh and Archie we've got a new prank coming out um, where they're gonna be pranking some more reality stars with like fake spa treatments which is gonna be funny so we're excited for that we're just setting up now, they're upstairs, setting their stuff up. Um, yeah, pretty excited for this one. I've got the old face mask in the pocket, so I can wear that when we're filming. Just so, if I laugh, hopefully they won't see. That's the thing I'm most nervous about. Not about if it goes well, I'm nervous just about laughing and giving it away. I've never filmed a Josh and Archie prank before, so the nerves are sky high. But anyway, we're gonna get all this kit out, get upstairs, and uh, try prank some reality stars. Unless this is all just a prank on me and I'm just looking like a fucking twat right now. So this is what we're dealing with. This is, <laughs> this is what Josh is wearing. I think that's too, you're, you're now looking like a ridiculous character. You, 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 you so are, go on then, quickly sum up what you're, uh, sum up what you're doing. Three well-known influencers trying wellness treatments that Josh and I have made up. Oh my god. We're paying them to see whether their <laughs> skin is better when they put their own oxygen back on. I think this looks quite good. Yeah, that is. Does. No. You wouldn't have to, you can't see me. No, I can't see you, but at some point, at some point. I definitely wouldn't so recognise you. If you look so silly, someone looks more carefully. Honestly, yeah. it, it's sometimes better just fade into the background. Like that. Less is more, yeah. Why I'm not involved. I'm not involved. If anyone sees this, I didn't like the prank. I'm not involved. I'm just here to film. I'm just here to film. Alright, but no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good, and Josh obviously has done a few pranks now, they've been pretty successful, he doesn't want anyone to recognise him, which is understandable, so he's gone for a full hazmat, which I guess is fitting for current times, but also fucking ridiculous, so I don't know if it's going to work in his favour or against him, I guess we'll find out. Five minutes, okay? And then we'll ask we'll just got rid of the bags. Then immediately after that, we're yeah. going to go into the first of the sound therapy, the liberal sound effects. Yeah. Okay? Or are you actually going to call it that? Yes, the liberal sound effects. Okay? Yeah. Um, it's ridiculous. I think they're feeling confident. How are you feeling, JP? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I 
First video back. Um, yeah, I'm pretty nervous. I just don't think, I don't know how someone's gonna believe that I'm a, a sort of therapist who knows about alternative healing. Therapy. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Oh, cool. I keep getting scared that someone's signing up. <laughs> Where are the miles? I feel naughty. I don't feel naughty. I think you should probably both. We'll stop the massage at the moment and you'll realize exactly what it's doing to your eyelids. You can carry on for another. No, you can't have that. Just we've got time. Actually, I think you should work on the smell. This will be excellent, Gilbert. We'll get you saying that into camera at the moment. Now, I'll take you to a more female voice in the House of Commons in a moment. So, they pranked two of the, the three celebrities so far. JP, how do you reckon it's gone? What's your opinion? Uh, it's gone good. Chloe Fairy was a bit suspicious, but mm. um, I think it's gonna work. So, like, where, this is where they're filming, and I'm sat behind there. <laughs> I'm sat behind that thing, so it's quite good for me. I can sit there and I can laugh. So, of course, I forgot to film an outro, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, please like, comment, and all that jazz, and I will see you all very, very soon. See ya!